Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. I hope you all are doing good and thank you so much for subscribing my channel and liking my videos as well. So as I move ahead in today's video, we are going to create and run our first staging SQL model in DBT code. So till now, uh, you know, we have gone through at least four videos of DBT where we have understood how a typical project structure looks like and how you can actually create an initial project in dbt core using dbt init command so we have already created a project structure in our previous video right so now what we are going to do we are going to create our first sql model now what does the sql model going to do you know what is this actually doing so it is going to take it is going to connect to the bigquery right it is going to connect to bigquery it is going to read the public data set from there it is going to apply some transformations using sql and then it is going to write the data back to the bigquery right so it is doing the transformation part which i've explained in my previous videos as well and this is what we are going to see today on how to do that so before moving ahead i do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on linkedin and as well as to subscribe to my channel if you haven't so how to actually create your first project right or to how to create your first staging model so i have mentioned everything in four steps over here so that it is very easy for all of you guys to follow and understand as well so the first point right is creating the packages.yaml file so when i say that of course you know i'm working on a project and i do need dependencies right so i need to install them using my packages.yaml file and after that what i'll do i'll run my dbt depths command dbt dependencies command to actually run that particular yaml file now similarly now once i do that i have all the dependencies everything installed that i want to then what will i do I will actually create source e-commerce because I'm reading e-commerce data set from the BigQuery open data sets. I'm going to create a source e-commerce YAML file. Now in this YAML file, what I'm going to provide, if you have seen my previous videos, you already know that what will be here. So here we are going to provide the connection detail to the database. In our case, it is BigQuery. You know, we are going to provide that, okay, we want to connect to BigQuery. This is the project that we want to connect to these are the tables that we want to read right so that detail will go in the source ecommerce.yaml file and then we will create stage ecommerce order.sql now which is your transformation file so this is where your transformation is happening this is where we will write the sql query to actually read from there and if you want to you know do any kind of modifications we can do it using sql and then we can actually run that particular SQL in, as I have mentioned in the command four, using dbt run command, right? Using this command, I will run that SQL. This SQL is going to use my source ecommerce.yaml file, which has the connection details, which has the details of what will be my source, uh, you know, on how I'm reading the data, which tables I'm reading the data, and then my uh, transformation is going to happen in my SQL file, right and then it is going to write back to the uh, big query right so the and in case you are using databricks or you are using any other uh, you know database or data warehouse then in that case you can provide connection details to that data warehouse as well so let's go ahead and see how we can create the packages.yaml file so this is probably you know the code that i have for my packages so you can actually see i've copied this code instead of writing at this point and i'll go to the visual studio code so now guys if you see over here right what uh, you know this is exactly the same project structure right that i have created in my previous videos right this is the exact structure that i have created in my previous video so i have this my project one i have this macros folder models i have explained what all is this in my previous videos as well so you can see the models like there are some default models right we don't need it but i'm just showing you over here we don't need it as such right uh, these come by default when you actually run the dbt init command which i've shown in my previous video so now if i go back this is my whole uh, you know 
project structure and in this project structure you already know that you know there is a dbt project the yaml file we have already discussed it in the previous videos so now what i'm going to do over here i'm simply going to go here create a new file and i'm going to name it as packages.yaml right and enter and then i'm going to paste the packages that i have mentioned here right i have pasted all my packages over here now after this what i need to do i actually need to run this right i need to run this inside my my project one i have this packages now i want to install these dependencies so what i'll do i'll simply say dbt depths right so it is definitely it is going to you know go and check the packages.yaml file and it is going to install the dependencies so here you can see it is running and it is installing and since i have already run it once what has happened here it has just checked for an you know that the correct version is installed or not and it's it, and, and it has simply shown me that okay i have these versions of the packages that i want now what is my second step now if you go to the models over here right inside that you will find something called as staging right so inside the staging what i need to do next inside my staging i need to create source e-commerce dot yaml file right i need to create a yaml file which will provide my database connection details so here i go i'll create a new file and here i'll name it as source e-commerce dot yaml right now if i go back here i have already pasted the code and we'll go through this as well okay so no worries on that we will go through this i paste it over here so now if you guys can see right in this yaml file what we have done we have mentioned the sources right we have mentioned the details of the source that we are going to use over here right and i have said that the name of the source is the look e-commerce so this is the big query public data set right now this is the database you have to go you have to query this particular data set in the big query look for this particular information and these are basically look for this particular data set and then these are the tables that you need to read right these are all the names of the tables that you need to read so now if i go back if i go to the big query so you guys have already uh, you know uh, i have already uh, you know created this big query account with you guys in the video itself and you guys have already seen this how to actually uh, you know create it and everything so i hope you guys have no doubts over here but if you see here in the uh, big query public data set you can actually see that there is a data set called as the look e-commerce right so if i open it you can see it has a set of tables distribution center events inventory items order items orders products users right so it has all of it now if i go ahead if you want to query you can actually query the data set as well in the big query but you know just to uh, give you a little bit of detail you can actually see it has i for example distribution centers right id name latitude longitude so it pro it has a data set right and these are all these tables now what we want to do we want to connect here right so now if i go back exactly same data sets i have mentioned right and the database is what big query public data right this is what we have actually uh, you know uh, got over here you can simply click on add over here and then you can actually uh, click on you know the open source data set the public data sets over here big query public data sets and then you can simply add these data set over here so you will actually get it and this is i have explained in my previous video as well so now you can see that these are the tables these are the exact tables that we have mentioned here and this version is nothing but this is more syntactical at this point uh, because dbt documents they kind of mention that this does not have any specific usage as of now but in future versions it might be helpful so this is more of syntactical over here now you have the source dot source e-commerce dot yaml file right which is being which will be looked into now the next step if i go to the next step right what is the next step the next step is creating the model file creating the model file uh, basically means you have to create the actual sql file where the transformation is going to happen right and this is the code for it so in this code you will actually see what i have mentioned i have simply mentioned a sql query right if you want you can use any transformation that you want but the staging 
layer basically when we take the data in the first go we usually do not apply too many transformations at that point so i've just selected the data from here right so this is a simple query to select the data that's all right now if i go back right i have created a stage e-commerce order dot sql file over here right so it is the exact file that i have shown you right with source as select from the source hey go and look your e uh, the look e-commerce this is the data set name you know go and look at the orders table right and from this orders table right I, in in here in the yaml file you are reading orders table so if i go back this is the orders table right and then when i go back here you are actually saying that you have to read from this data set you have to read from the orders table and then you have to take out these columns from the orders table right so this is exactly what your query is right so if i go back let me simply copy this right and paste it over here right so i have my stage e-commerce orders file as well now you have your dbt project file right which tells you where is what is the name of the project what is the pro you know uh, what is the profile which is nothing but the same as the name of your project where exactly your macros are placed where exactly your model is placed so all these configuration it actually mentions over here right now similarly now we are going to run our model now to run our model we have a command called as dbt run minus s stage e-commerce orders right so this is nothing but the name of my file and dbt run is the command so what i'll do is i'll go back to my project over here i'll just show up the screen and i will simply type clear first and then i will say dbt run minus s which is nothing but you know it just means to select and then i will say stage e-commerce underscore underscore orders which is nothing the name of my file now the moment i run this what is happening basically my stage e-commerce orders.sql file is running and you can say see that it is saying that okay we have found three models over here four tests seven sources and it says done completed successfully right so now what has happened my this stage e-commerce orders.sql has run so now since it has run you know it should have created a table right now if i go to the big query and i just refresh my data set right if i refresh my database or uh, my project over here and i refresh my content you can actually see that i have dbt my project one over here and you can see stage e-commerce underscore underscore orders has been created and exactly same columns which i have mentioned right so if i go back over here order id user id created at returned delivered shipped status and number of item ordered right so you can see number of item ordered exactly same table has been created over here now uh, even uh, you know even to mention you this part over here now how did it come to dbt my project one for now in fact you guys should tell me how this has come to the BigQuery? How did it know that this is the schema where I need to place my table, right? You guys should tell me because I have already mentioned it in my previous video and you guys have already checked it as well. You have already done that part. So now take a pause, put it in the comment section. How did it know where to create the target table, right? It got the project details from the dbt project file, packages details from the packages file, source related information which table uh, to read the data from which database to go and look at from the source ecommerce.yaml file transformation is happening here but where is the target information right now uh, for the people who have not watched my previous video and still have some idea and they want to understand i will just quick uh, quickly tell you the answer it is profiles.yaml file so in the previous video, we have also created profiles.yaml file where we have mentioned the details of the target. So now if I say dbt debug and if I say minus minus config because that is my configuration file minus directory hyphen directory, it will tell me where my profiles.yaml file is. And you can see that it says open this particular location. Now if I open this location, this is where my profiles.yaml file is so we created this yeah profiles.yaml file right 
so now this project is actually taking my profiles.yaml file as well from here so in this profiles.yaml file i have mentioned right here what i have mentioned i have mentioned dbt my project one over here and i have mentioned the details over here that this is my dbt bigquery pro uh, this is my bigquery project possible flag now similarly your bigquery project name would be something so you have to put it over here what is the type of database i'm connecting to it's bigquery right so by default uh, you can see if you're working in an organization you might might have dev uat and production so you can mention it over here but if you have multiple and you have not specified you know which one to take it will by default take the first one so in my case also what it has done it has by default taken this dbt my project one it has created the schema and uh, under this particular project so now if i go back right so you can actually see dbt my project one and it has created it over here so i hope you guys understood you know and uh, the whole part of it how we have actually created our first staging table right we have read the data from an you know by connecting to an external storage bigquery in this case we have taken up the data if you want we can apply different transformations on top of it right now we have staged the data in dbt so i hope you like this particular video do remember to like share and subscribe and keep learning as well so thank you so much for being till here